the time and I give the call to the very patient and honourable member for Petrie. Well, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Yeah. I thank you for the opportunity to sp speak on the Criminal Code Amendment Protecting Minors Online Bill. Thank you also for the opportunity to confront an issue on which, as a parent, I have in retrospect possibly, possibly been a little too laissez-faire. I have three sons, mm -hmm. good sons, but spirited and with a thirst for all that life has to offer, one that my wife and I encourage as parents. A quizzical, inquiring and adventurous mind is a great thing. It's a great thing. Life is to be lived, and the inquisitive nature of children is something to treasure. Another distinctive character of children is their innocence and level of trust, things also to be protected. I spoke recently in the Federation Chamber about the risk to children that arise as a result of easy access to online pornography. I have been visited by a constituent uh, in my electorate, by Liz Walker, from, from Porn Harms Kids. Liz came to my electorate office and emphasised the dangers that access to online pornography poses to Australian children. She outlined the research and opened my eyes a little bit more. Needless to say, I went home and spoke to my older son, but he was ten steps ahead of me, way ahead of me. He'd already been shown uh, a lot of what Liz was talking about at school, believe it or not, uh, just through access on Wi-Fi from, one of, from other, other students there. Mm. I then spoke in the chamber and I mentioned the correlation between the consumption of violent, sexually explicit material, of which there is plenty, and the normalising of sexual aggression. I asked, how do we keep our children safe given the um, ease so of access to the minutes? internet everywhere, at home, school, public Wi-Fi hotspots? At any moment, it seems our children can be just one click away from harm. The answer is we, here and at home, well, we do whatever we can. We listen to those at the coalface and we respond just like we are today with tangible measures to minimise the potential for harm. We work with our children. As suggested by the Office of Children's eSafety Commissioner, we need to teach our children that not everyone they meet online can be trusted, even if they seem nice or even if they seem friendly, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's unfortunate but necessary because, to be perfectly frank, there are creeps that devote their entire lives to getting around all those things that we do to keep our kids safe. They are experts in depravity. The minister, in his second reading speech, recognised the work of Sonia Ryan in the drafting of this legislation. The bill is a testament to Sonia who has worked tireless, tire, tirelessly for change since her 15-year-old daughter Carly was murdered a decade ago by an online predator posing as a teenage boy. And through you, Mr Speaker, I say I am so sorry, Sonia. It is impossible to bring back to life those like your beautiful daughter Carly who have lost theirs at the hands of the most cowardly predators. I wish I could change that. We can't, but we can change in response. The bill we are discussing, Mr Deputy Speaker, today adds a new level of child protection to that which currently exists. It guards children against internet predators by allowing intervention by law enforcement agencies sooner, well prior to harm being done. With a maximum penalty of 10 years imprisonment, the amendment ensures that the serious offence of engaging in conduct to prepare or to plan to cause harm to, procure or engage in sexual, sexual activity with a child is matched by appropriate punishment. Appropriate punishment, if there is such a thing for an offence. The bill introduces an offence that focuses on predators' use of online forums 
and platforms like social media and messaging applications for exploitive purposes. It addresses emerging technology and trends. It brings up to date the framework that offers protection with the new offence targeting a broader range of preparatory behaviour than that which is captured by existing offences. It addresses the advantage that the anomaly of the internet offers child predators, which they use to forge relationships with children. This is something we recognise is a first step these deviates use to lure child victims for sexual abuse and other forms of harm. The bill further complements the government's ongoing work to counter online sexual exploitation of children. This includes through the Think You Know program by the Australian Federal Police that educates students, parents and teachers about dangers online. I am proud to support efforts to protect children using the internet and to be here to speak on this bill. Technology is a changeable landscape. We must all keep pace, especially when it comes to protecting Australian children. I thank all those that work in this space, police, health workers, community organisations, foster carers, public servants. It's tough stuff. But I'd say to mums and dads, grandparents and carers, have a conversation with your children and monitor their online usage. Lastly, I want to say sorry and thank you to those children who have reported online incidents. We know sometimes it's not easy, but in doing so you help to protect the youngest Australians from toddlers to teens. You are our eyes and ears until we figure out a way to offer you watertight protection. Watch this space. We're working on it. This bill is the next step.